My name is Maria Huli. I'm in grade six, and I'm 12 years old. If I'm here today, it's because I like to share ideas and experiences. Standing in front of a big audience, achieving a goal, or even having your own lifestyle, what do all these things have in common? In my opinion, one word, self-confidence. Hence, I'm here to share with you my journey of self-confidence. When I was five years old, my friends used to ask me constantly, why do you have curly hair? So one day, I came back home crying and asked my mom, why am I different? She gently replied, honey, you're special. Mom's words made me realize that I was special. I started to hair my hair with pride, showing it off, and trying different hairstyles. And you know what? Just like that, because I accepted and liked my hair, my friends did too. This incident was the seed of self-confidence I have today. After my hair came my tooth. I had a tooth that looked like it was made of iron. My, the dentist called it amalgam. This also made my friends repetitively ask me, why do you have an iron tooth? This time, I did not run back to her tomorrow and ask her why I was different. Instead, I decided to reply, do you want one? Just eat lots and lots of chocolates. <laughs> wow, I cannot believe I actually said that and stood up for myself. I felt proud that I handled this in an assertive way. Watching advertisements on TV was a completely different story. In the beginning, I wanted every toy I saw. I got stuck on a new pair of shoes that my friends had. And once again, mom's magical words, don't be a follower, made the whole difference. And when I went to the store, I realized that I wanted something completely different, which I bought. And because I was res responsible for my own choices, my friends liked my new pair of tennis shoes and decided to buy the same. Furthermore, my school had a big role in increasing my self-confidence. Since KG1, teachers had taught us how to stand and speak in front of an audience. This developed my public speaking and encouraged me to talk in front of several hundred people, honoring my uncle's achievements. I was eight then. And by taking part in extra school activities, in taekwondo championships, performing rhythmic gymnastic solos, or playing the saxophone during family events, I learned that losing, forgetting steps, or playing the wrong note isn't the end of the world. Self-confidence helped me connect with who I really am. I grow every day, step by step, and inch by inch. And every step I take frees me from the pressure, from what is fake and what is superficial, and, help, and helps me become the person I am today. Thank you. Yeah.